to my channel my name is Praveen and you are watching Techie Praveen so in this video we are going to see how to create this type of UI in Flutter so basically it's a combination of uh, tab bar view and we are going to use one uh, dependency that is name is Flutter Slidable so by using this we are going to achieve uh, this type of uh, widget in Flutter so we are going to use that and we are going to customize it as per our requirement so let's get started and see how to create this type of UI in Flutter. So basically, uh, we are going to create a tab bar view first, and then we're going to implement a Flutter startable widget inside it. So let's get started. So basically, I have a created a new Flutter project, and this is my basic code. So I'm just going to remove it because I am going to write all my code from scratch. Let's import uh, the basic dependency that is material.art, and uh, we're going to create a void main. Inside the void main, we're going to create the app, and this is the basic my app. And now, state this widget my app, and beside it, I am going to use material app. Debugger mode equals to false. Home equals to home page. Okay, now I'm just going to create uh, my home page first. This is my stateful widget. Perfect. Now let's import this. So now here I am going to create uh, my uh, scaffold and we are going to create the app bar first. Uh, if you see uh, there is no app bar, uh, basically there is an app bar but there is no elevation in the app bar. So basically what the elevation means uh, it do not uh, give you uh, uh, a blurry effect, uh, it do not give you a shadow effect in your uh, body. So let's create. Uh, App bar first, app bar goes to app bar. Where I'm just going to use elevation equals to zero. And I'm just going to give one color inside this. So icon theme equals to icon theme data. Icon theme data color equals to white. Because I want uh, everything, uh, every widget or every button inside this as a white color. Or background color will be my colors dot uh, purple. Colors dot uh, deep purple basically. Uh, this is my color actually I want. If you want you can also play with the shades to give you some different color. And, and then give some leading so basically what is leading leading will give you the uh, uh, is what you need to be put in uh, on the starting of your uh, app bar i'm just going to use uh, icons dot menu sharp uh, give me one second sorry uh, icons dot menu sharp this i want this perfect now and let's give uh, one background uh, color to my scaffold because uh, my complete uh, apps color is uh, deep purple actually if you want you can remove it or there will be no use for this elevation equals to zero and now uh, let's give the action because I want some action to be performed inside the app bar uh, Okay, perfect. So inside the action, I have to give a uh, one icon that is icon dot search, icon dot search, and uh, I also want uh, icon dot shopping cart, shopping uh, cart. 
perfect uh, okay so let's run this and see what it will be uh, what is my current output right now so i'm just going to run it by using uh, flutter run so uh, i got my output as a one navigation door option and a one search button and one uh, card button so basically uh, if you see there there will be no gap between these uh, buttons so let's wrap this uh, with padding uh, and see uh, what will going to happen so i'm just hard refresh it and we will get uh, our space between these two buttons if you want uh, you can also uh, put this uh, like uh, currently i have used icons only you can uh, use icon button or you can also wrap this with gesture detector to make it uh, clickable currently these two are only just icons these two are not clickable okay so i got uh, i got my uh, gap so let's wrap this uh, padding also and So it apparently it is not clickable. So you for making uh, clickable, you can uh, wrap this with a uh, gesture detector, or you can also use icon button instead of this only icons. Perfect. Now let's uh, create the app bar, bottom navigation bar. So after app bar, I'm just going to use my bottom navigation bar. Perfect. Now, uh, so I'm going to use bottom uh, bottom navigation bar only uh, navigation bottom bar and inside is I have to put some items so this is my items so I need bottom navigation bar items navigation bar item and here I have to put I guess and all. So you can uh, put anything uh, as per your requirement. Icon icons dot uh, home and color will be white and you can put one title inside this. So I have used title, title is text and this is my home. I'm just copying and paste it. And just change this home, uh, I'm using shopping cart. Shopping cart and I'm just using here uh, Sorry, uh, I have to put one comma and this is my uh, chat window or you can use people and uh, shareable uh, it's all based on your icons actually so <clears throat> let's how to start it perfect now let's uh, design uh, because currently I have got it. Uh, this is uh, I, my icons are white in color. That's why it's not visible. Uh, so let's uh, give some design to this. So for you for giving design, I'm wrapping this uh, with cleft uh, object to uh, give some uh, space to this or to give some design. So here I'm going to use a background color. Uh, I'm going to purposely, I'm just going to make border basically. So this is border radius. So I just want uh, my radius to be, my border to be circular uh, by two ways only left and right side. So this is top left, top left equals to radius dot circular. And I'm just going to use 40.0, uh, you can, uh, Play with the values to make it more circular and more rectangular and this is more top uh, right and 40 40 and just going to give 
color to this background and background color equals to black and uh, so selected label if you want you can uh, so selected label so currently if uh, my label is selected means my tab is selected it will going to uh, if you want to uh, show it with a different color you can put here color uh, just make it false uh, sorry this would be my selected label selected label equals to false it will not going to show me my selected tabs so if you want to, uh, to make it true it will going to show you uh, the selected tab as uh, here i am also removing uh, so unselected tab is also false so if you want uh, why i am using these two uh, because uh, by creating an app you want to show uh, your selected tab as well as your uh, unselected tab so uh, by using this uh, i am making uh, this as a false to tell you that uh, how can uh, you use or uh, you are going to use this in your app uh, if you want uh, your selected tabs to be shown you can uh, you can make it true and if you want your uh, to show your unselected tabs you can also make it true so currently we are not uh, going to uh, change it i'm just making it false and let's refresh it and see uh, perfect now i got this so <coughs> <clears throat> your radius or circular uh, you can play with this uh, circular path so my upper body and my uh, bottom bo part is ready now let's uh, going to create <clears throat> the body part of this so inside the body uh, there is tab bar so i'm just going to create my body inside the body i want my body to be scrollable so i am wrapping this uh, i'm using scroll view to make my body scrollable, if you are not using this, uh, it will going to <coughs> uh, make it static or it will go give you uh, your overflow uh, issues, right? So always make your body scrollable so that user can scroll it. So now uh, I'm just going to use column, and inside the column, I'm just going to use some text that is uh, shoes for all and all. So. My first is shoes for, and my another text will be shoes for unique style, and third one will be my uh, we have a wide range of shoes. Let's run this. Perfect. Now my color is black, so I have to give some style to this. Font size will be twenty-five, and I'll just make it bold, a little bit italic. Font style is font <coughs> italic. And and make it bold. Font weight is font weight dot bold. Or uh, I'm just copying it because I want these to be uh, applied for everything. And this. Uh, Make it 23 and just make it uh, 20. And let's run this. Now, perfect. So, I have to uh, make it little bit uh, in the middle of this. So, I'm just going to wrap. Firstly, it, uh, is, uh, I'm just going to give some padding for this. Now, perfect. And then I want everything to be uh, centered left like. So I'm just going to uh, wrap everything with a line, a line, 
and inside this align, I make it uh, alignment or centered of left. Alignment or center dot, so center left. And let's wrap this also with alignment. Perfect. I just save it to make this uh, align with uh, proper alignment. And let's run this. Perfect now. Uh, it's showing uh, nice. However, I have to uh, put these two little bit center. I'm just going to uh, make it 18 or something like this. Play with the padding. Perfect now. So let's. Uh, so my uh, center board body part is also ready. We are just up, uh, right now we are going to create a tab view. So now I'm just going to create my uh, tab bar view. So I'm just going to create tab bar, tab bar, tab view. Uh, because there's a keyword for this, so I'm just going to use tab bar. So uh, here I'm just going to create another folder. Name is uh, giving the name as widgets. And inside the widget, I'm just going to use tab bar, tab view or dot dart. And inside this, I'm just going to create my tab bar views. So I'm going to import first the basic uh, dart. Inside this, I'm just going to create uh, one class, tab view. Let's create one stateful just just widget tab view and just import this. What the uh, what is the problem? Okay, there's a problem. Okay, fine, perfect. So it will going to uh, give me a tab view. So let's uh, build the tab the tab view first. So here I have to use uh, a constant a tab view. Inside this, I'm just going to pass one key. Yeah, here, super key. Now, perfect. Now, now uh, we have to make it as a default uh, tab bar view. Default tab controller to make uh, to control my all tab view. So I'm just going to give the length for to, so if you have a uh, multiple uh, tab, uh, you can uh, give the length of your tabs by using this four to five, six, seven, eight, and all. So and Initial index. You have to give the initial index. So, so my initial. Uh, what will be the uh, my first tab uh, when my app get open? So my first app uh, index would be zero. So this is my, my zero. If I put one, it will going to open my uh, first index, and the index always start from zero. So it, uh, basically, if I put one here, it will going to open my second tab. So now inside a child, it is going to make uh, it's also installable. And inside this, I'm just going to use container. Inside a child, single child view. This is my container. Let's wrap this with a column. And inside this, I'm creating my child, child as a tab bar, giving the label color, color as white, and 
so using this unselected color if you want uh, this is the same as a previous one unselected color as a white uh, i want to uh, my label color label color means text color the white and unselected tabs will also be white unselected label color and uh, this is my indicator so i'm just going to uh, decorate my indicator means uh, if my tab is selected then what we will going to uh, make uh, how will you going to distinguish between a selected tab and an unselected tab so i'm just going to decorate my selected tab so by using the indicator you can decorate uh, your selected uh, tab this is my decoration so i'm just going to use border radius border radius uh, dot circular i'm just going to make it uh, 10 and uh, color should be white color should be black and uh, I'm just going to give some shadow with this. So this is box shadow. Box shadows uh, color. Colors are black with opacity. If you want, you can give shadow with any color. Opacity is 0 0.3. Uh, with blur radius, blur radius will be 25. So you can play, uh, play with these values uh, to make it more attractive. Okay, uh, and this is your offset. Offset is uh, 0 0.10. So you can play with these values to uh, decorate your uh, box shadows and after decoration let's uh, give the tabs names so now the error is gone so so, the, so this will give me my tab name so my ta tab name will be my first uh, name is tab text uh, is nike and I have total four to five tabs. So this basically, uh, this will going to uh, uh, limit you uh, because uh, currently uh, I have given length to close to four. So you can only give the four tabs. Otherwise it will give you uh, the error. Right, so currently I'm going to give uh, four. So this is my Adidas. Adidas, this is my Puma. And this is my all uh, so let's make it five otherwise we're going to, uh, to be very small so this is my campus and perfect now uh, so this is my tab name or uh, let's create the container uh, to show the tab uh, the, the things inside the tabs so it is going to be another container whose height will be a media query or a context uh, whose size or height is to 0 0.8 I want 80% height to be uh, uh, used by this container where they are going to show the uh, content of uh, uh, tab bar view so inside this i'm just going to create <coughs> child <coughs> tab bar view tab bar uh, view inside children so basically this is our uh, tab bar view <laughs> so uh, this is our first so uh, this is a list of widget. So this is my first. Uh, I'm just going to write the text only. Uh, 
let's make this inside container container one child text tab one F4. So this is my basic uh, four uh, tabs is created. Mm, one error is showing. So okay, this is the error. I think I have made some uh, typo mistake. She can't have an error because type replaced was okay. So I think I have enabled the uh, null value. So let's uh, make it dark. Uh, Two so basically that error was uh, due to the flutter null safety so i have uh, downgraded my uh, flutter sdk to 2. Point, uh, it was uh, 2.1.2 2. Uh, means 2.12 uh, currently i have downgraded it to 2.11 for this project and I, you can also write uh, uh, backslash dot 2.9 to make it uh, dot to, uh, to downgrade your dart sdk to 2.9 so uh, currently my error is gone. So let's run this and see the output. So finally my app is installed and this is the output. So uh, as I told you that uh, there is an error uh, that is controller length property five does not match the number of tabs. So basically what uh, what wrong in this is I have given the length as a 5 and I have given uh, uh, tabs property as a 4 does not match the number of tabs. So basically I have given the number of tabs as a 4. So there is a problem with this. So let's uh, find out what uh, what is the problem here. So controller property is length is 5 that is correct and i think uh, i have created the five tabs as well there will be no problem in this but here is the problem right i have given the five uh, five length i have given the five names but i have created only four tabs here so i have to create tabs five as well and let's run this and the error should be gone Perfect. Now the tab is gone, and this is the text. If your text, uh, text uh, is showing in uh, in black color, that is the reason it's not showing properly. Uh, textile and the color should be white. And let me copy this to every tab. See, so this is uh, my tabs. Uh, it's working fine right now. It's having the four uh, different tabs. So uh, instead of this container, I have to show my product list. Perfect. So uh, let's create the product list first. So I'm just going to create uh, another folder, in the name of model, where I'm going to put uh, uh, my product uh, class and my product model as well. So this is my product class, uh, product class dot dart. Here I have to define my product class. This is my class, product class. And here I have to define uh, my class of uh, what type of, uh, what things I need in my product. So uh, my my product have a uh, image URL and my product should have a uh, name, price, title, description. Name, price, title, and description. Title, and you can uh, add. Uh, as many uh, uh, as many you want because uh, it's all it's all depends upon uh, how many things you want to show in your product class 
So uh, this is my product class uh, basically, and this is the constructor through which I am going to call uh, uh, call this. So uh, perfect. Now I am to uh, create my list of product. So I am also going to create uh, another uh, another page. Name is uh, product list dot dot product list dot dot. We can import a product class actually. Product class dot dot. And class is product. And here I have to define one static variable details that is map to dot details. And what type of this is? This is like my product class. Now that's perfect. This is a basically this is a list. So I have to put everything uh, in this product class uh, which requires five parameters that is image URL name and uh, price description so currently I'm using uh, assets image you can use a uh, uh, network email as well or you can use a uh, 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 use name text price from uh, API you can also integrate your API in this app so basically uh, if you don't know how to integrate APIs in Flutter app I have a separate video on this topic and uh, I will going to provide a link in the description. Also in the i uh, icon, you can you will get the description of that uh, video. You can easily uh, look forward it because uh, you need, uh, you have to uh, know what, how to integrate API in Flutter app to create a real time apps. So uh, I have to give the name, uh, name as well. So I'm going to give my price and all. So, uh, uh, if you are doing API integration, then you, you have uh, you will get uh, all these uh, information uh, by using your APIs. Currently, I have used uh, uh, strings uh, in, in everywhere. So, uh, in price, uh, we can use uh, uh, only integer values, uh, or uh, in the, uh, if you are going to give uh, any uh, percentage value, then you can uh, you have to give integer and all. So you can manage the data type as per your requirement. So currently, uh, this is my description. That is my title for so, uh, sports, sports shoes, uh, and this is my running shoes. <coughs> Sorry. Now my, now my first list is uh, ready. So uh, I'm going to create one uh, folder uh, that in the name of asset. Here I'm just going to give uh, all my images inside this. So I have uh, created one uh, asset folder uh, and I have put uh, my five images. You can put as many images as you want. Also, I have uh, uh, initialized that uh, in my pubc.yml asset in the assets public it means uh, it's uh, access everything uh, that we put in uh, inside the asset folder so we are going to uh, create product, uh, product list here so this is my asset to first dot uh, i have to give the name of this first dot jpg jpg and it's going to create as many products as you want. So I'm just going to change the name of the, my images to three, four, and five. So my list of products, uh, if you want, I can just copy paste it to uh, make more list. So this is my uh, product list is completed. Now it have a uh, five different values as per uh, uh, my product class. So we're going to initialize this. So inside a tab bar view, I'm just going to remove my first tab and I'm going to use product list and going to create product list. 
So let's create the uh, product list first. Uh, it's going to uh, close it. Okay. So this is my product list. It's going to create another uh, file. Get uh, product list. I think product list I have already created. Uh, in, I haven't. I have created. A, okay, I have created a product list and model also. So I'm just going to create the name as product collection dot dart. So uh, I have to import my material dot dart, and inside this, uh, it's going to create a stateful widget in the name of product list and now i have to create one list and what type of list is this is known as product class list uh, a list uh, like a product class name of items list of elements goes to product dot products dot details I have to import this product first. Let me import uh, which is product. Hmm. Product inside the product, I have a details. Perfect now. Uh, and let's make some design parts. So I have a container. Uh, you could, uh, I'm going to create the uh, decorated box decoration inside the box decoration. I have to create border radius goes to border radius dot circular to 20. Uh, and I have to create chai, uh, list view builder so I have to create a list view list view dot builder uh, which needs item builder. So basically, I'm just going to uh, create a, a, a container uh, inside the body uh, of my tab view, and inside the tab view, I'm just going to create one item, uh, uh, one list view. So I am creating one container inside that container, and just going to create one uh, one list. This is my list view, where item count. Equals to put uh, item count equals to items dot length. Items means uh, the list of product. Now item builder equals to different context or as well as index, and it is going to return my citable widget now, on this list. If you're going to create a so now I have to create a citable widget as well. So let's create the citable widget first. And uh, file uh, one uh, slideable citable widget for dart, and I have to import one dependency. Uh, that is name is uh, flutter slidable to achieve uh, that uh, that flutter slidable animation which is basically it's a dependency through which we are going to achieve this animation and that slidable widget so pubs uh, pubget is running now uh, if there's any problem in uh, pubsy or yml it will going to show me uh, there will be no error so everything is uh, fine right now so let's uh,